La Nina conditions are present in the tropical Pacific and forecast to intensify to a moderate event or even a strong event as we move into the winter. Right now we have all of the conditions we would associate with a La Nina as well as a coupling between the sea surface temperature conditions, the subsurface, and the atmosphere. We have cold sea surface temperature conditions that are extending further west than in some events. We have cold subsurface heat content indicating that this event will uh, continue and intensify in the next month or two. And the atmosphere has conditions present that we would associate with a La Nina. There's a positive southern oscillation index. We have uh, reduced precipitation west of the dateline, enhanced precipitation near Indonesia, and we have enhanced trade winds that are bringing cold water upwelling in the eastern tropical Pacific. So all of the ingredients that we would associate with the La Nina are present, the sea surface temperature appears to be coupling with the atmosphere, and we expect this event to intensify in the coming months. Now elsewhere in the Pacific, elsewhere in the tropical oceans, we have uh, Indian Ocean conditions that are relaxing towards neutral. Likewise, we have uh, more modest sea surface temperature anomalies in the Atlantic and warm sea surface temperature anomalies in the northern Pacific and northern Atlantic. As we look at what models forecast for the coming seasons and the coming months, most models forecast for this event to intensify into the winter, peaking sometime in the winter and relaxing back towards neutral conditions as we move into the spring. Now the associated precipitation with this La Nina is similar to what we would expect canonical teleconnections to look like. So we have dry and hot conditions, very notably strongly a uh, strong probability of below normal precipitation and above normal temperatures in the southern U.S., in the southwestern U.S., in southeastern South America, and in the Horn of Africa uh, and Southwest Asia in the coming months. Um, as we move into the seasons um, past winter, we'll have a persistence of dry conditions in southwest U.S., um, and possibly above normal precipitation in northern South America. So it appears that we have a moderate La Nina uh, presently and this, that this event will continue into the winter and possibly uh, return to neutral conditions by the spring. Stay tuned to see how this event um, progresses and until next month, be well.